All right, guys. Um, today we have a very special guest with us, Dr. Alexandra Savering, who is the medical physician for the Curacao Boxing Association. Uh, doctor, welcome to Boxing Real Talk. Thank you for having me, Theo. You're most welcome. <laughs> All right, doctor. Before we get started, tell the viewers a little bit about yourself. Uh, where did you study? Give a little, give a little something about your background. So I uh, went to Radolfus, okay. and uh, there I did a half hole and uh, afterwards the very old. And then I went to the Netherlands, to Maastricht, to uh, study medicine. That was a six-year study. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it was uh, four <laughs> years uh, theory and okay. afterwards two years practice. Okay, okay. And how long have you been practicing medicine on the island of Curaçao? Um, now, since the year 2006. But after my medicine in Maastricht, I became like we call a basic doctor, basis arts. Okay. And then I did three years more to specialize to become a GP. Okay. Yes. Nice. So it's like nine years in total. Nine years? Wow. That's a long time. Yes. Yes, yes. And the studies never stop, right? You no, you have, have to, to continue. Uh, yeah. So you heard it here. If you want to study to become a doctor, get ready to put in the years, okay? All right. So, doctor. What you didn't mention to us, right? I heard a rumor that you're a very good boxer. Very good. Now, I, uh, I, I like to box. It started all uh, at the age of 11 with karate. Okay. And I did karate with Dudley Josepa. We all know Dudley. Okay. And there I got my orange belt. And then I continued with martial arts at the age of 26 in Holland, where I did Muay Thai. In oh, the wow. Hague. Oh wow, you dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there I got until my with Muay Thai you don't get belts, you get okay. bracelets. Okay. So I got my second bracelet, the white okay. uh, combined with yellow. And then I came to Curacao where I got to know uh, Glenda Putter. Okay. Um, and there I did um, kickboxing. I continued doing kickboxing till my green belt. Oh, and wow. afterwards I continued with ninjutsu. <laughs> Don't mess with her. <laughs> uh, I did some exams with ninjutsu, but I hurt my knees. So I couldn't do more uh, martial arts where you have to use your knees. Okay. And that was when I chose to continue with boxing because I couldn't, I couldn't stop. I, I liked the sport too much. Okay, yeah. okay. So, yeah, so you choose boxing. Yes. All right. Yes. Interesting, interesting. Um, Doctor, where, where is your office located? Uh, at the moment, I'm located in Otra Banda, at the Baraltweg. It's in front of the mosque. So I am there for two years now. Okay, so it's in front of the mosque in Otra Banda? Yes, okay. yes. Okay. Um, next question. If I may ask, why boxing? Why boxing? Uh, for me, boxing is the only sport where I can release my, my stress, my tension um, of the work during the day. And because you have to remember the combinations, because you have to focus, you don't have the chance to think about the other things. And it's good for your condition, it's good for the stress, so I like it. Perfect, yes. perfect, beautiful. All right. But from, a pers from a doctor's perspective, right, um, what are the benefits of practicing the sport of boxing? Not fighting, but the sport of boxing. Uh, it's good for your health in, in, on the territory of your condition, um, um, for your relaxing, for the stress. So, um, and it's good if you want to lose weight. Um, and you do not have to go in the ring if you don't want to. You can just choose to do uh, box fit. So it's for every age. It's not. Uh, okay. okay. Yes. So there's a lot of health uh, benefits to, to boxing. Do, to boxing yes. Yeah, a lot of people believe boxing is getting in a ring and beating up on each other, but it's a lot more. There's a lot more to that. Yes. Um, as you mentioned, it's good for your health. If you want to lose weight, for mobility, mm -hmm. perfect. Release stress. Release stress. <laughs> So then, yeah, we get uh, some more of the work uh, companies to send their employees. Yeah, it would yeah. be good, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. It would be nice, you know. It's not it would be all beneficial for them as well because yes. less people will get sick 
because yes. they have got fit, fitter and healthier. Yes, yes. And they'll be able to concentrate longer. Indeed. Yes, huh? that's not a bad idea. Indeed. Uh, to good idea. We got to push that. Incorporate <laughs> that. Yes. All right. Um, interesting question. How did you get involved with Curacao Boxing Association? How did that happen? I, when I was uh, doing the kickboxing at um, FFK, it's in Brievegaard. Okay. Um, there you had Dr. Walid El Hage. He was uh, related to the sport, the, the sports doctor. And um, he needed a doctor to go to Colombia with the Odessur. That was the uh, Latin American Olympic Games. And I, I went with 20 athletes to Colombia. Wow, what year was that? What year was that? 2010. Okay, that was for kickboxing or? No, that was for all types. It was uh, uh, karate, it was for uh, shooting, it was for taekwondo, okay. it was for a lot of different types of sports. And that was the first time that I became related as a sports physician. Nice. So uh, afterwards, I worked also in the SGR, that is where uh, Edwin Baas works. Okay, and correct. I think that. Uh, little by little I got to that people got to know me and see me in the boxing world and that was when I was asked in um, I don't know which year that was but what was um, a boxing fight the Papa Cadet fight the 30th of May in okay. Punda oh, okay, that was okay. the first fight that I was the boxing uh, doctor uh, okay. Yes, okay very interesting yes. so you've been doing this for a while yes you can all right <laughs> all right that leads to my next question right what medical checks do you do? What, what are the medical checks that you perform? So before the fight, in the, in the morning before the fight, we start by doing the weights. And then I do the blood pressure. I check the pulse. I check the ears. I check the, the throat to see if there's something. I check the eyes. I listen to their heart and their lungs. Okay. But what, when, you, when you say you check their eyes, and what, what exactly are you looking for? Like uh, I, I look to see if the, the reflection, if the function is okay, and if the vision is okay, because if someone cannot see good, it's not, uh, it's not good to go in a, in a ring. Yeah, obviously. Um, and when I check the ears, I check the eardrum to see if there is a perforation, because then you know that before the fight there was no perforation. And if, if he has an injury, then you can compare that with uh, the findings before the fight. And when I listen to the heart, I listen if there are uh, murmurs, if the, the rhythm is okay, if the pulse is okay, if the blood pressure is okay. I ask them if they take medicine. So you have to know if that there's some medication that can influence your, your condition. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay. So what happens if you find something that's not compatible. <laughs> yeah, or hundred percent or what well, what's the next step? Uh um, so what if they fail any part of this if, medical examination? Yes, if I find for example someone with one with a, a very uh, low pulse or a low or too high uh, blood pressure of or I think that's not the person cannot fight, then I uh, recommend the fighter that I would not advise him to fight, and normally that would be, will be discussed with the coach. And um, if he persists to go in the ring, that normally will be on his own uh, risk. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> so if if he's but if he's not fit, fit, fit to box, to if, I, if it's clear, then I will say no, you're not fit to box. Okay. Yes. All but right. if it's like a grens, a, a borderline, borderline, then it's it's uh, okay. a risk. Okay, and what about, um, wh does it get recorded anywhere or? I yeah. make my uh, note notes and I uh, record it in my computer. Okay, how about the, the Boxing Association? Do they have some kind of records as well? Yes, they have the, the boxing book, so every okay. fighter has his own book where they why I note the, the findings of my medical examination. Okay, perfect. Yes, they have perfect. to carry it with them. Okay. All right, so correct me if I'm wrong, okay? The understanding is that you're not only the medical physician, but you're also the ring doctor. Yes. Yes? I am the ring doctor. Okay, so what, what are your duties as a ring doctor or your 
responsibility as a ring doctor? So normally, I um, the main thing that I do as a ring doctor is sit next to the ring and observe the fight and see how it goes if, if someone gets uh, how the, the, the hits, eh? how the punches go. That's okay. the main thing. And if there's... Uh, if someone gets injured, uh, the, the referee will call me in the ring and ask me to do an examination. And depending on what my findings are, the fight will go on or I will have to advise to stop the fight. Okay. Now, so do you physically stop the fight or how does that work? So you tell the referee your findings and then who decides? The, the referee decides okay. whether that someone can continue, yes or no. Okay. Yes. So I so cannot stop the fight physically myself. Okay, so yeah, basically you give your advice and normally they have to take your advice yes. and the fight gets stopped. All right, do you have, have you ever had to stop a fight? Yes, I had to stop my first fight. That was only the, the only fight that I stopped is someone who had got caught very deep here. Okay. And I had to put stitches. Stitches? In. Yes. Okay, and um, so you had to stitch them up right there and then? I did it there in Punda, yes. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. <laughs> the, the, the fighter wanted to continue to fight, but I, I said no, I okay. didn't recommend it. That would be my next question. How do you deal with an angry fighter or a coach? He, you know, he feels his fighter can go on, but your advice was to stop the fight. How do you deal with coaches or... or or you know the adre adrenaline the, yeah of the uh, or the boxer who's upset at you or, or even the public because yeah. i assume the public would want to see more blood they want to see the fight continue indeed, but indeed. it was stopped yes i i try to let them let it pass me by i don't let me let them influence my judgment because i am there for the benefit of the fighter and if i let them influence me and there is some injury then it's on me, so I don't uh, pay attention to them. Yes, no. okay, perfect, no. perfect. All right, so you see, that that's what we need in boxing because that's what keeps um, our fighters safe, yes. okay? Yes. Um, that is, um, that is, you know, to keep the fighters safe, basically, the duties and responsibility is for the boxer and not for the coaches or trainers, right? Yes, indeed, yes. So even if it was me fighting and I wanted to continue, but you would still Even say. if it's you fighting <laughs> and I don't think it's responsible, I would stop the fight. Okay, yes. beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. All right. Good to know. All right, guys. So you heard it, huh? There's no... Um, you can get as angry as you want. If the doctor says it's over, it is over. Okay? Yes. Um, yeah, so you have a lot of power. Indeed, um, yes. Um, at that moment, I have, but it's for your own good. So yes. um, perfect, yes. perfect. Yeah. All right. When when the referee calls on you, the next step would be for him to stop the fight, right? Yes. When he calls on me, the the fighter goes in the corner, and first he sends the fighter to the in the corner, and he calls me in. I go in. Um, I examine the fighter, for example, a nose bleeding. Then what I do is I try to stop the bleeding. If the bleeding stops, then it's okay. And then I go back to my seats. If it's, it continues bleeding, then advise that the, so to stop the, to stop the fight. Okay. Yes. Fair enough. Yes. Okay, doctor. So if anyone wants to uh, have you as a physician or they don't have a physician and they want to get uh, you to be their physician, what can they do? Um, how does that work? How does that go about? So um, my medical center stands for innovation. So we are the, the only center where you can make your own appointment online. You oh, can nice. go to www.medicalcentersavering.com and you can make your own appointment. And you can choose to make also a Zoom appointment if you don't know, if you are not in the position to come to the office. So you can make a Zoom appointment. You can choose to make a phone appointment or you can make an appointment to come to the visit. Okay, so basically anyone can go online and... And make, uh, make an appointment. Okay, maybe. okay. Yes. And what was the website again? www.medicalcentersavering.com Dot com. Yes. All right, guys, you heard it. We're going to be posted in on the website. Um, 
All right, so now it comes to my favorite part. That is. <laughs> questions from, let's see if we got any questions from viewers. And if there's no questions from viewers, we're gonna wrap it up and call it the end of the day. So let's no just questions. wait. So people can just basically go online, schedule their own appointments. They don't need to, what if they have another doctor that is seeing them, but they want to change doctors? How does that work? So that depends on the insurance that they have. If they have an SVB, normally you can go to the SVB and ask to, to change a doctor, but then you have to pay 10 guilders. If it's in the month of September, you're free to, to change a doctor without paying. But if you have another insurance, like Guardian or INIA, you're, you're free to go uh, to another doctor. Yes. Okay, so yeah, that, that, that's a, a, you know, because I always wondered, because if you move from one side of the island to the other side of the island, it would be uh, strange to have to drive all the go way to the, the other side. side of the island. Indeed, indeed. Okay, so, yes. Um, so, you heard it, in September, if you want to make the change, it's free. You, you can just to. change. You right? can just change. You yes. can change the doctor. So if you choose to go with Dr. Alexander Savering, uh, you can go to our website. Okay. It's very easy. So you can uh, you can go to the website and see what we what we offer. We offer a lot. And they can also call you. They can or, also call. Or yes. Or a Zoom. A Zoom. Or, yeah. Yes. Oh, you're very. Um, Innovative. Yeah, that's what, what we stand for. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I like the sound of that. I'm very uh, proud of it. Yes, <laughs> you should be. Yes. Yeah, and also you have got some kind of medical book thingy going? Yes, we have now the medical passports. Um, it's a very nice booklet with all your information. If you're allergic to something, what your diseases, uh, what medication you're taking, and also with some advice, what you can do when you have an allergy, um, some health tips. But um, we want to do that also digital. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. So you want I mean, everyone to have their own uh, app. So it, with in the app they have then their their medical history. Yes. Okay. So with like QR codes and. Yes. Oh, yes. nice, nice. That's. Uh, I, I think that's a good idea. Yes. I like that's that idea. That's the next uh, step. It's uh, a lot easier too because many times. If you have to go, let's say to the hospital, they ask you, what's your blood type? Yes, and you don't remember. <laughs> yeah, you don't so remember. You go on your phone and you yeah. have everything. And you have everything yeah. right there. Yes. Nice. I like that. All right, doctor. Uh, let me check to see if we have any questions. Do you have any questions for me? <laughs> <laughs> no. No? All right. No. All right. So I see no questions. Let me see what I got five. No. No, no questions? No questions. All right. Doctor, thank you for your time. Thank you for having me. Always a lovely time. Yes. Yeah, it's, a, it's always a great pleasure. Yes. So, um, You'll be seeing me the 26th? Yes, I'll be seeing you on the 26th. We'll probably do a little video from behind the scenes okay. and also of the setup at the SDK. And um, yeah, we're also going to have you back, hopefully. Yes. Uh, for the, oh, that's a question. I almost forgot. Which one? The drug test. Do you guys test for prohibited? We want to start doing that. Okay. We didn't do it until now, but the, the idea is to start doing the check in the in the urine. Yes. Okay. So yes, eventually this year, or do you know how soon? Um, I don't know if it will be this year. Okay. If it would, if it's up to me, it will be this year. But okay, we have perfect. to order the. That's good. The tests. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. All right. Yes. Okay. So. Just check in, okay? I don't have a problem. <laughs> Just let me all know, you know? But it's all good. Yes. All right, so yes, I think it's good for the sport as well. Keeping all the sports clean. They should yes. test for drugs throughout all the sports. Yes. Not just yes. boxing. Yes. All right, doctor. So, thank you for having me. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for being our real talk. It was very nice. Okay. Yes. Beautiful, guys. Take care. Since there's no questions, Till the next one. Boom.